So Tony and I had a miscommunication about what needed to go on the grocery list. We got a lot of fucking potatoes. Pandemic potatoes. So get whatever kind of potatoes that your significant other bought too many of, any kind will do. Um, give them a good scrub. You don't want any of that nasty germy crap on there, especially these days. So preheat your oven to 400 degrees, take your potatoes and go ahead and stab them. A Couple of times, if you need to do more than a couple of times, I understand. However many stabs you need to stab today is a good choice. It's gonna release the steam so that you don't bake them in the oven and then they explode on you like hot lava and you end up being that person in the urgent care. Doctor's like, and what happened? And you're like, I baked a potato. And they're like, don't do that. Just tap the potatoes. Into a 400 degree oven. You can just throw these right on the rack. You don't need a dish, you don't need anything. So your potatoes in the oven at 400 degrees for like 35, 45 minutes until they are tender when you stab them with a knife. So while your pandemic potatoes are baking, what I would like for you to do is get out your blender and then I want you to go to your fridge and pull out whatever wilty green herbs you bought in a fit of panic at the grocery store and we're gonna make a sauce with it, okay? Let's go, you're gonna need some oil. You might need a knife, I don't know. Definitely gonna need a blender, food processor, a mortar and pestle or in the absence of that, maybe a bowl in the bottom of a jar. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have an orange, a lemon, oh fuck, a lime, garlic, oil, some wilty parsley, some nearly dead cilantro, and some baby kale. All right, so what you're gonna do is just take your blender and just take some of this kale and stuff it down in there. You know, like, I don't know, like a packed half cup, maybe three quarters, it's difficult to say. Take your wilty cilantro. I don't even wanna talk about how much of my life I have wasted picking cilantro off of its stems. We're not gonna do that today, so just rip off most of the leaves and throw them in. If a little stem gets in, it'll be okay. That's rotten, that's fine, keep that. Okay, in that goes, that's probably like a packed quarter cup of cilantro. Cilantro, no, parsley, this isn't cilantro. This is the parsley, flat or curly. Whatever you got really is fine. Uh, mm, this is too much, so we're gonna take like half of it. Find the really wilty stuff. Wilty herbs are what we want in here. The fresh herbs are what you want to leave to wilt for later. And so you can just take this and kind of, you know, and then you just take your knife and you can, wow, this is very sharp. Scrape off the leaves. You don't want to get too much stem in there. A little is fine, but too much is like, it's not cool, man. Okay, so like a quarter cup of packed parsley. And it goes. Take your garlic. I think we're just gonna start with one clove because this is a big clove. And give it a smash. Let me do that a few more times. Yeah, that's nice. And it goes. So get your zester. And I wash these with soap and water maybe three times. I don't know, I felt a little bit compulsive and stressed. So now we're just gonna zest these in here, but this is totally your call. You can just use some of the juice. Lemon. Well, it smells like a cleaning company in here, so if nothing else, my uh, subconscious thinks that we're gonna be fine. Lime juice. Lime zest? Lime zest. What we got? We got some garlic, we got some citrus zest, we got some some green leafies. And so now let's just add a little bit of our, our juices. I think I'm gonna leave the orange juice out. We're just gonna do lemon and lime and maybe a little red wine vinegar. We'll get into the pantry in a second. That's a whole nother conversation. Oh, why do we roll the citrus? For stress relief. And also because it releases more juices, but primarily stress relief. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little juicer and let's just start with like half of the lemon. That's probably a little over a tablespoon of lemon juice, half of the lime. Probably about the same of lime juice. Some salt. That's maybe a bit much. Try just like a smaller pinch. Some pepper. And let's go to, let's go to the pantry and see what we got. All right, so we got crushed red pepper, some ground coriander, and some red wine vinegar. Just 
I can use a little touch of red wine vinegar. We're building the flavor by combining those acids. Well, wrong end. No, you know, fuck that side. Yeah, there we go, some chili flakes, like a half a teaspoon, some ground coriander. Coriander is the uh, seed of the cilantro root, so it ties in really nicely. A lot of times I do orange and I do cumin, but my cumin is almost gone, so we're not gonna do that today. Lid on, you know what? Nope. Take it off the blender. Maybe don't use your pan, but like pack this down there so the blade can actually grab a hold of this. Yeah. And so you wanna have the oil gradually so that it emulsifies, but also this is gonna spin out and then I'm gonna to have to spend like 10 minutes re-scraping it down. So we're gonna add a few tablespoons of oil to start to give it some liquid to help it out. Lid on and just start blending. Oil in while we're blending, slowly increase the speed. And once it's running, you stop adding the oil and you just let it go until it grinds those herbs up and they just give themselves up into our sauce. Scrape down the sides and give her a whirl again. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, oh. It tastes very green. It needs a little bit more acid, but that's great because if you overwhelm it with acid, it's really hard to get back from there. So let's do a tiny pinch of salt. I think some red wine, some more citrus. We'll start with that, then we'll go again. That's what it needed. So now, if it tastes flat, you either need salt or you need citrus, okay? If it kicks you in the teeth with the acid, you need to balance it with the fat, which is gonna be your oil, uh, or sugar. You can balance it with a little sugar, like honey, granulated sugar. I don't know, whatever the fuck you got. Oh, it's almost there. I want it to be just a little more garlicky, so we're gonna add like a little bit more garlic. Maybe like half of this clove. I don't know what I'm gonna do with half a clove of garlic later. We'll figure it out when we cross that bridge. Some more pepper. One of the very first chefs that ever taught me anything. She was making a sauce and she just goes, you just keep adding shit until it tastes right. And you know what? She was right. You just keep adding shit until it tastes right. Some more spice. Mm, that's good for now. That. That's what we're looking for. That is punchy. It doesn't, it doesn't say to me one flavor. I don't taste that and think lemon. I don't taste that and think garlic. I taste that and I'm like, oh, oh, it's nice. It's very nice. That's what you're going for. You got like a nice green sauce here. And so now all you gotta do is clean up your shit and then wait for the potatoes to finish cooking. So I'm just gonna pour this green sauce into a clean looking container so that I feel less disgusting about my life and the situation. Didn't get a spatula, I didn't really think this through. This, I do not feel less gross now. <laughs> so these potatoes, once your potatoes come out, you wanna make sure that they're cooled before you go smashing on them. And you just take your potato and you just lean into it until it kind of lets go. That was maybe a little bit too let go. We're gonna try to use a little less force on the next one. She wants them to hold together a wee bitsy. That's more appropriate. And then you can just use kind of the palm of your hand. There we go. Six potatoes, one for each foot of distance you should be keeping between you and other people right now. Okay, this, not good. This is acceptable. This, no. Yes, no, it's very bad, it's very. All right, I'm gonna regroup here. Oh my God, there's a whole potato down here. A whole raw potato. Huh, more potatoes. Is there a potato on the ground? Oh fuck, there's a potato on the ground. Five potatoes. We're not gonna worry about him. That can be used for something later. We'll scramble that into a hash, our eggs, God knows. Okay, all right, get a pan hot. 
And just let that heat up for a few minutes. You could totally do this in the oven. You could preheat it to 450 degrees, brush these with butter or oil and let it crisp up in there, but they never get as crispy as I want them to. And if I can control nothing else in my life right now, I'm gonna control the crispiness of these potatoes. Now this is a fairly simple recipe. It's fairly quick aside from just like waiting for your potatoes to cook. So what is with all these people that are like, I have so much time on my hands, I'm so bored. I think I'll make a baked Alaska. Fuck you, who has that much time? No, if anything, I feel like there's 10 times more things to be doing during this crisis. <sighs> Let your pan get hot. Get your salt, some pepper, some oil, oil, pepper, some coarse, some coarse, some coarse kosher salt. I think I'm gonna do some flake salt. I feel like flake salt today. So it feels a little bit more glamorous and I think that's what I need in my life right now. Now let's just find a plate to put these on. So when your pan's hot but not smoking, go ahead and add enough oil to lightly coat the bottom. Oh, you should probably get some tongs too. You're gonna want some tongs. And then your oil's ready when it runs quickly when you tilt the pan. Oh yeah, so it has little ripples in it, creates these little like tide pool type things. Take a potato and place it in the hot oil. It should sizzle immediately. Don't crowd the pan. Just add as many potatoes. Oh, we might be able to get them all in here. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Oh, okay, there we go. Now just don't bother them, let them caramelize. I'm just gonna tilt the pan and redistribute that oil a little bit. I think I want some butter in here. You don't necessarily have to have butter, but I think some butter would be nice. No, I don't think I want butter. Just let them brown. You know, despite how much we try and we try and we try to make our stove even, somehow the oil always pulls to one side. So we're gonna add a little bit more oil to the other side. I have no clue where that went. Okay, so just come in here. And we're just gonna check in and see. Oh, oh, very nice. We're getting a little brown there. I'm gonna rotate because check your flame. Yep, sure enough. You wanna make sure the heat's like hotter in this part. So rotate your potatoes, your pandemic potatoes. Oh, fuck. That one's not ready. If it's sticking and coming apart, it means it has not fully caramelized. So just leave it alone. It needs a minute. That's okay. We can have grace. Everyone is processing in their own way right now. If it needs a minute, give it a minute. So now I'm starting to smell it and I just feel like they're ready to be turned. So let's check again. Yeah, it's nice and brown, a little crispy on there. That's good. Flop them over. We don't want that. Oh, little crispies. These are snacks. These are your reward for making anything at all today. Okay, flip them, oh fuck. So add a little bit more oil to the ones you haven't flipped over yet. Yeah, there we go. Flip them over. I mentioned smaller potatoes are better for this, but you know, whatever you got, it'll be okay. I don't like the way this is looking. We're gonna get a spatula. Cooking is all about responding to things as they happen around you. Oh no, it fell apart. That's okay, it's pretty good, no big deal. So now we got a little oil on there. It's going pretty good. We're gonna just gonna take some fresh cracked pepper. Yeah, while well, it's still hot and that oil is accepting of more spices. Some nice flake salt. Remember there's no seasoning on these potatoes so it's gonna be pretty fucking hard to over season them. Lumps here, it's looking a little dry. Let's give it some more oil. The pan's hotter so it's not gonna take as long now. It's probably ready. Oh yeah, that's ready. Let's see, which is the prettier side? Oh, ow, I don't know. Which one is the prettier side? We can alternate. Yeah. And go ahead and shut your heat off. If we're getting some nice like dark char on there, it's done, we're ready to go. Get them out, closer to where you're working. Yeah, a little crispies for you, because you deserve it. I got this wedge of Parmesan cheese, and so I think we're gonna have some of that too. That'll be nice. Okay, so let's take our little uh, green sauce here. Oh, give it a stir. So that oil likes to separate. Oh my, my, mm -hmm. no, butter knife. So we're just gonna take this, and we're just gonna put some of this green herby sauce onto our potatoes. I think a good amount. They need it. We need it. I need it. 
And then find your grater you already threw in the sink. Yep. Grate some of that parm cheese. You can use ricotta. You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's a pandemic. These, my friend, are pandemic potatoes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing okay. Keep your chin up. You're doing a fantastic job. Support your local restaurants if you can. We're all gonna make it through this. Enjoy. Thank you.